Jupiter, the first planet to emerge from the solar system's stardust 4.5 billion years ago when a swirling dance of gravity and impact pulled gases and dust together to form the colossal giant. Unlike other terrestrial planets, Jupiter's constitution keeps until today a faithful record of the primordial solar nebula. After the Sun, Jupiter is the biggest object in our solar system with its 142,984 kilometers in diameter, a planet twice as large as all of the other planets combined. Jupiter is also a planet in constant turmoil. It lacks a solid surface and most likely a solid core. The enormous planet is an ocean of liquid hydrogen enveloped by an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium, some 70 kilometers thick. Jupiter's distinctive stripes, swirls and bands are the result of differences in the planet's clouds' chemical composition and temperature. They are caused by jets of winds and violent storms moving in alternate directions. One feature in particular is considered Jupiter's most iconic hallmark, the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a persistent anticyclone storm that violently rages Jupiter's equatorial atmosphere at speeds up to 500 km per hour. The Great Red Spot was first described in the astronomical accounts of the Italian mathematician, astronomer and engineer Giovanni Cassini in 1655. And even if we cannot be sure that we see today the same storm Cassini saw, the current Great Red Spot has been extensively observed and studied since 1879. 100 years later, on February 25, 1979, the Voyager 1 spacecraft transmitted the first detailed image of the Great Red Spot from space. Since then, several missions have studied Jupiter's most outstanding feature. According to data gathered by NASA during the past 40 years, the Great Red Spot is evolving and altering its shape from elliptical to circular and is shrinking in size. Jupiter's vast storm was once so large that in 2008, three Earths could fit inside it, while today, its size is just 1.3 times the diameter of Earth. While the spot size is decreasing, its turbulent winds have accelerated by 8% at the rim of the storm. To better understand the dynamics inside the massive red anticyclone, in 2011, NASA launched a space probe, Juno, to gather data about Jupiter's clouds, belts and magnetosphere. After five years of observations, Juno has produced amazing data on the dynamics beneath the planet's thick layer of clouds. The Great Red Spot perturbates Jupiter's atmosphere for 500 kilometers from the cloud top, affecting also the ocean below, an unbroken surface of liquid helium and hydrogen. With no solid orographic features like those found on its sister terrestrial planets, there is nothing to dissipate the storm's energy. The Great Red Spot will continue its ravaging journey across the planet for the time to come, stretching, evolving and making us wonder about the solar system's creation and final destiny. Meanwhile, back on planet Earth, Kaus researcher Pankaj Jagged is investigating the thermodynamic conditions that formed Jupiter's great red spot and made it so stable through time. Unlike previous simulations that used a planar approximation of data, Jagged has used a spherical model to simulate the great red spot behavior for the first time. Using the latest observational data, Jagged simulations are helping scientists unravel Jupiter's mysteries and extreme atmosphere. Jupiter's great red spot has been sticking around for more than 300 years and we were interested in finding out the answer to the fundamental questions. What fluid dynamics or thermodynamics conditions might have formed it and made it so stable? 
the previous research considered a beta plane approximation, that is the spherical geometry is a plane locally, and they consider the domain comprising of uh, the GRS and its neighborhood, whereas we consider the full spherical geometry. The storm on Earth, it comes in contact with the Earth's surface and uh, this makes it to dissipate away, whereas there is no such confining wall to the Jupiter's great red spot in Jupiter's atmosphere. And this is why the GRS is existing for more than 300 years. The uh, planet Jupiter itself is spherical and therefore it is uh, important to consider spherical geometry in the simulation. Moreover, we envisage to perform a holistic simulation wherein uh, we will include uh, not only GRS but other vortices also such as white oval and so on. <music>